Hi there, my lovelies. So this week is special because I have two videos for you. Why you ask? Well, this video is part of a Tastemaker Spotlight series celebrating the 50th anniversary of the movie The Sound of Music. What this means is this video is just one in a large playlist of amazing recipes for you to check out. Make sure to stay till the end of this video because I've linked the entire playlist for you. So first I'm going to start with the crust. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In my mixer I'm going to add in my butter and sugar. Then I'm going to add in my vanilla extract and a pinch of salt and give it a good mix. And then slowly add in my flour until it becomes a dough. Make sure to scrape down the sides of your bowl anytime you're mixing. Next I'm going to flour my working surface and rolling pin and roll out my dough until it's about an eighth of an inch thick. The reason I picked this dish is because it reminded me of one of the songs from The Sound of Music. I'm sure you guys know which one I'm talking about. It's called My Favorite Things. And Julie Andrews' character, Maria, sings it. One of the first lines is, raindrops on roses. So I thought, what better dish? A rose strawberry tart. Okay, so I'm gonna take a knife in my tin, just place it around, cut a circle. I'm just going to take a cake spatula, break it apart. Now I'm going to add a little flour to my tart tins to make it easier for the tart to slide out. And then add the dough to my tins. Make sure your hands are washed and just using your finger, press down on the dough, filling in all the ridges. And then just remove all the excess and just continue it for the rest of your tins. So this recipe makes eight tarts. What you can do is take your scraps, combine them together, and roll them out again and make four new ones. Or you can save the dough, you can wrap it up in surround wrap and save it in your freezer if you want. Then take a fork and poke a few holes in the bottom. This will help prevent the dough from rising too much. I'm also going to take some parchment paper, butter one side of it, and put the buttered side on my dough and place some beans inside my crust to help keep the shape. I'm going to bake these for about 15 minutes and then set them aside to cool. Next I'm going to make my custard. I'm going to whisk my eggs together in a bowl and set it aside. In a saucepan over medium heat, bring your milk, heavy cream, sugar, and cornstarch to a scorch. You want to make sure to whisk the entire time or your mixture will burn. Take it off the heat once it gets to this point and add a third of your mixture to your eggs to temper the egg. Then add the eggs into the milk mixture and return it to the heat. Continue to whisk over medium heat until the custard thickens up. It should take only a few more minutes. See how it's thickening up like that? That means it's working. Then I'm going to remove it from the heat and add in some vanilla extract. I'm then going to add it to a bowl, add some plastic wrap on top, and put it in the refrigerator to cool. Okay, I think our tarts are done. You can tell by that nice golden brown crust. Here comes the fun part, making our strawberry flowers. We're just going to slice our strawberries in thin strips. So my tarts have cooled, and I'm just going to save my beans. I'm going to pull out my parchment paper and add my beans back to my jar. That way, next time I make a tart, I didn't waste my beans. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. So hopefully because we floured them, they should come out pretty easy. See how easy they pop out? So my custard is cooled, so I'm just going to add a little bit to my tart. I like to put the big strawberry pieces on the outside and then go a little smaller on my way in. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video treat. Stick around to see more amazing recipes from this Tastemaker playlist and make sure to subscribe. You can also follow me on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I'll leave all those down below. Bye my lovelies.